Hi, Tidal here from Success by Design, and I'd like to tell you about why you should put your account on Google Business. So firstly, if you look at my screen, you'll see that when you Google Success by Design, um, and because I'm in Cape Town, Cape Town, <laughs> Um, immediately, well, this is my view, but my business will come up, right? If you weren't uh, the owner of the account, the business would come up, as well as on the right hand side, you would therefore see um, a link to my website, directions to get to me, uh, additional information on my business. Now, how did I get it here? It's simple. I took my, my business and I created a free Google business account, right? So when I, when I opened up the account, I had to verify my address, which meant that the Google sent a postcard to my ad, ad address that had a verification code on it. I typed in that code and then they knew that that really was the location of my business. I added some pictures to Google. Initially, I told them the purpose of my business, the category my business is in, um, what I do, how I do it. I inserted links to my website. Um, at the start of the pandemic, I gave an update that I was going online and as I've gone, I've asked people to put reviews on Google. Now, I haven't been very really consistent with the reviews on Google asking for that, but 2021, I'm definitely going to be more consistent with getting my testimonials. But um, I want to tell you why it is important to do it for you. As your business is there and it exists, naturally people will Google what they need. Maybe it's printing, maybe it is um, you know, buying a certain product or getting a, a certain service, cleaning services, consulting services, uh, a lawyer, attorney, accountant, a baker, whatever your service is, they'll Google um, uh, baking, wedding cakes, whatever they need. And the more reviews that you have and the presence that you have on Google, the higher the chances that you are going to jump to the top of the list for them. So Google loves customer reviews, right? So the more reviews you can get on your Google page, the way that also helps you claim, climb in, turn, in terms of SEO, uh, search engine optimization. You do not even need a website to put your account on Google, your business information on Google. Yes, it's better, uh, but you can always put in your social media account. So get your business on Google, uh, get it verified on Google and start to ask your customers to add reviews. This way, more, custom, more, more people can discover your business and this will help you get more sales. Okay, so let's just take a quick look at what it actually looks like when you're setting up uh, an account. So, here you can see that I've inserted quite a bit of information so far. I've updated my service availability hours, my business hours. I've given a COVID update. Um, my performance is here, how many people search for my business um, in a set time frame, uh, what the activity was like with my business on Google. I can view my business on a map. I can view my business on a search engine. I can um, share my business profile straight from Google. <clears throat> Um, I don't have any current ads running on Google. Uh, access my business. Here are posts that I've put on Google already. Uh, learn more about posts. Let's see, does it show some past posts? Yes, we're open. Opening quotes again. Uh, courses that I ran. Business information. So this is all the stuff that populates when people start looking at your business and they're like, what business is this? I was looking for a consultant. I was looking for for training on um, productivity tools, what, well that's me anyway, on um, how to do business planning, those types of things. I have my Calendly app uh, link in so you can make an appointment. I have insights, so it tells me a bit more about my performance. Then, very importantly, I have my reviews. So let me show you how you can actually uh, ask people for reviews. And I just realized it's not on this page, so let me just show you some more stuff quickly. Um, this is where we find pictures. Now some I've added so that people can get an idea. So these are the pictures that will come up. Here you add products and services as well. But uh, let's just go and when you see um, the shortened version of sort of your scheme when you Google your own business on your account because it has to be linked to your Gmail account. Um, <coughs> 
so when it is um yeah it gives me a nice easy i can see it in the way um to get reviews so it's, it's always going to say get your first review but i do have review so you can either post to facebook and you can write a message and you can say hey guys i'd love you to give me a review maybe that is your main way of communicating right now uh, or twitter or email or you could copy it and you could send it to a client so let me just show you um if i wanted to email a message it's actually quite lovely the way it puts it together i'll just ignore the fact that it goes into my personal account see that that's the default on my pc right now um you simply see here that the message is uh successful design would love your feedback post a pro a review to your profile and then it actually gives you the link right so this you could even take And you could paste that 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 popped out there, that message along with that link, that very important link, which takes them straight to your uh, profile. So then, when they do add a, a a message, that obviously it gets sent straight to you to your Google account. So what's nice is that you can learn a lot about your business um, through customer reviews, good and bad. I mean, bad's just an opportunity to rectify something. And good is obviously a way of you knowing I should do more of this, more of this type of product, more of this type of service. This is what people like about it, right? Uh, but definitely take the link, uh, send it to some of your current customers once you get your account set up. Ask them for honest feedback on your services and uh, take the learnings from there. And yeah, just continue to try and do that. Yes, you can do reviews on other platforms as well. Uh, but start with Google. It's a massive search engine, so definitely would be worthwhile. It's where everybody goes uh, when you're looking for stuff.